Hello everybody, Xanafar here, and today I am doing a review of episode 6 of Ultraman Blazar. So let's get into it. Let's talk about the Kettledles. Let's talk about Yasamudu. This is his episode, and how is he in this episode? We find out the team is taking advantage of him, and overlooking him. And when the team finds out, they make him go basically a day off. We find out he likes to talk to his watching machine, but well, really vent to his watching machine. And that is interesting and quite funny. He almost dies in this episode, but he gets saved by Odgeron. He was able to get through to him and stop him from rampaging. I really like Yasamudu. We finally get to know him and that's something I thought was very nice. He is very relatable and I thought he was just a pretty nice character and I'm glad this episode was about him. Now let's talk about Captain Gento. His scene when he saw Yasamudu talking to his watching machine was very funny and very realistic because I feel like most people would do that if they saw someone doing that and I just thought that was funny. Also the scene when he starts talking to the watching machine was also really funny. Also he's such a badass telling Okeron to chase him. That was awesome. I also really enjoyed the ending. With him and Yasamudu clean the watching his scenes and he tells him, hey, we're a team, you can talk to us. That was really sweet and nice. I really liked Gento in this episode. He was just really good. Now let's talk about the vice captain, Teraki. I like the fact he made the captain go talk to Yasamudu. I thought that was nice. We also hear a bit about his family again and he, now he has tomatoes and that is pretty nice. He gives those tomatoes to Gento to give to Yasamudu, but sadly I don't think those tomatoes survive. Oh, poor tomatoes. Teruaki was really good in this episode, I really enjoyed him. Now let's talk about Anoin, Kemen, or I should say, Kobe. We see our first returning Anoin, but it's an Anoin we hadn't saw for a while. This Anoin first appeared in Ultra 7, and that is nice to see. I think Kobe is pretty interesting. We find out her planet died and she wants to kill the Earth with Earth Garon. And she wants to use machines because they have native emotions. So she was a pretty fun villain. I enjoyed her. The rest of the characters, they were pretty good in this episode. Had some fun scenes. So the characters in this episode were pretty good. I really enjoyed this episode with the characters. Now it's talk about the effects. We finally get to see a Garon vs Ultraman Blazar fight scene and that was pretty awesome to watch. Very brief but still very nice. Now it's talk about Anoin Kemen. I think this Anoin is very cute. I love the bait shot, it just looks so adorable. Also, Ultraman Blazar throwing his energy spear by turning his body around was so weird but awesome. Especially brutal just how he finished off the Anoin Kamen like that. So the effects in this episode were really good. My criticisms. Why did Kobe want Yasamudu to join her? Like I get it he knows most about Ogeron but why does she think he will? I just don't get the plan. What do I like about this episode? I thought this shot was so cool seeing Ogeron chase the van. I also really love seeing Ogeron go berserk with red eyes. It honestly reminded me of Kiryu when Kiryu went berserk. I liked that this homage to Ultra 7 with the Ultra 7 episode with Windam being Kate and Oda and Yuuz. And then with the Blazar episode it's Ogeron. I thought that was pretty cool. Also we saw another POV shot of Gento transforming. Is that going to be a mainstay? I really hope so, because I love it. What is my final thoughts for episode 6 of Ultraman Blazar? I thought this episode was just a really sweet, fun, good episode. I really had a good time watching it. Well, that is it for this review. Thank you so much for watching. Tell me down below what did you thought of the episode. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you're new, subscribe. If you like this video, drop a like for this video. Xanafar is out. Now how the fuck am I gonna get down from here?